everybody, welcome back to Charmed Intuition Tarot. I am so excited for today's video because as I'm sure you figured out by now, I absolutely love Halloween and so does my friend Brooke over at Brooke Waldorf Tarot. So we've been planning out these videos since the summer. We have a few collaborations planned based on Halloween movies and we love doing these collaborations because of basically the synchronicities between the readings always amaze us. We don't watch each other's readings until they're released, so we watch each other's the same time you guys get to. So we just think it's cool how like you might pick pile one in my my video and pile three in hers, and they always just seem to make sense. So we think that is so cool. That's one of our favorite parts. And her and I have decided on the theme Hocus Pocus. So if you haven't seen the movie Hocus Pocus, that's okay. Basically, it's a movie from the early 90s, I think 1993, and it's very nostalgic. I grew up watching it. I've seen it probably thousands of times, and Brooke loves the movie too. So it's just sort of one of those movies that makes you just want to cuddle up and be cozy with a blanket and watch. It's just, if you haven't seen it, I strongly recommend it. And the question we chose for the theme, so for the Hocus Pocus movie, is... Who did you put a spell on or who's under your spell? So I'd imagine this will be primarily focused on love or attraction, but we'll have to see what comes up. So we have three piles. We have pile one, Sarah Sanderson. We have pile two, Winnie Sanderson. And of course, pile three, Mary Sanderson. So we've got all three sisters here. Feel free to pause the video if you want a little bit of time to choose. You don't have to use a character. You could just pick a pile or a number, whichever whichever works for you. And of course, we'll be doing charms today. And just as something a little different today, I thought it would be kind of fun with each of these cauldrons to pre-shuffle the charms during the intro here. And then we'll see what we get during the reading. So we'll do Sarah's cauldron first. cauldron there. Let's do Winnie's next. Okay, we got Winnie's cauldron. And then finally we'll do Mary's cauldron. three cauldrons are sorted out now so we'll just put these aside we can always pull some more charms later on if we need to but we will just put these aside and yeah we'll get started um, we also have a quick challenge for you guys if you can guess the other movies or tv shows that we've selected for future videos this season definitely let us know in the comments see if you can guess and really quick one more thing I just want to thank you all I want to thank you so much for clicking on this video for watching it for all of your kind comments I feel like I'm so lucky to have a group of subscribers that are so supportive and you guys just make me feel so happy. You love, you compliment me on my decor and, and I just really appreciate how much kindness there is in, in my comment section. You guys are just amazing um, to each other and then to me, it's just so nice to see. And I want to thank Brooke for collaborating with me. You guys, when you're done, as soon as you're done with me, go check out Brooke's channel and her video, her Hocus Pocus video to see if there's any synchronicities. She is so kind and just a pleasure to work with, so creative. We have so much fun planning these videos out and we're really just thankful that you guys seem to really enjoy them. So awesome, I'll stop talking now, we'll get into it. We'll start with, um, so just to remind you, pile one, two, and three. So we'll start with Sarah first. Okay, group one, if you chose Sarah Sanderson, this is your message. Let's take a look and see who is under your spell, who you've cast a spell on. Okay, so we'll look at your everyday tarot first. So we have the Judgment card. We have Two of Pentacles and the Fool card. For your Halloween Oracle, we have Ghost and Spider. For your Witch's Wisdom, we have Boundaries and Balance. For your Trico Tarot, we have the Hierophant card. The Four of Cups and Three of Pentacles. And then you have two lovers cards here. You have Passion and then this one says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. All right? So let's pull, see what charms you guys had in your little cauldron. Okay, so let's 
that's your cauldron there. First, let's look at your letters. So you have an H, a Y, a T, an F, a J, another F, another F. <laughs> F might be significant to a lot of you. We have a G and a B. Okay, so no vowels, doesn't look like. So those might just be initials, or you might be able to relate it to something. It could be a location. All right, so this person might be a friend already. We've got the friend charm. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick peek and see what we have here. Create, so this person might be very creative. They might be a fire sign as we have the Aries here. Got the pumpkin, dream, so they might be dreaming about you. We have the fact that it's a he, could be a he, they might identify as he. Okay. So with the citrine and the fact that we have the two of pentacles and especially the three of pentacles, I'm getting the feeling like you might work with this person or go to school with them, or they just might be in the same group as you if you're in any sort of like social activity or something like that. I just get the feeling like this person you see a lot. Um, I also get the feeling like this person's very good or very creative at something that they do, okay? So they have a particular skill that they're very good at. And the citrine too tells me that it could be, could have to do with money. We've got a lot of pentacles energy here. So this person, you might go to school with, you might work with them, or they just might be in a, in a group that you usually get, get um, go out with and do things with. The friend, we've got the friend charm and the yellow rose, which I use as friendship, so that's another clue. All right, so we've got two believes. We've got believe here and believe here. So I'm getting the sense that this person really, you know, does believe that they might end up with you someday, but what I'm getting here is the fact that there is... A blockage of some kind with this boundaries card and this is a swords card too so this is our thoughts so something in their mind is blocking them from this connection okay so they feel very attracted to you they feel like you're a really good friend this person's likely in your friend group or your social group and then ghost here so they regret something they regret maybe a missed opportunity or missed chance with you there's something that they regret perhaps like you guys you know had a miss misstep or something happened where maybe you were talking and then maybe like the literal like ghosting maybe they stopped talking to you suddenly balance and then with this two of pentacles here there's a sense of like okay i'm wondering if this person's in a relationship okay because this sometimes in a love reading can mean balancing two people at once so this person could be in a relationship so they feel very attracted to you and very connected to you but they for some reason there's a blockage there and it's causing them a little bit of anxiety all right so they're very attracted to you this community and web weaving card also makes me feel like it's somebody in a small community so that's why i'm really thinking works somebody you work with the spider also can symbolize creativity and interesting because we have a web here so there's a sense of feeling trapped or stuck, and maybe with that boundaries card, that's where that's coming from. So there's a sense of being stuck or trapped in the situation. But there is a, a magnetic attraction. This person is very magnetized to you. They want to be around you all the time. They really enjoy being your friend, and but they want they want something more. They There's a sense of wanting to iron something out or fix something. So there's lint all over my sweater here. But there's a sense of wanting to fix something or solve a problem between you they have a lot to say there's a lot that they want to get out and say to you they just don't really know how to go about it at this time but i think you're both well aware of this connection this isn't like going to be a surprise to you then we have the hierophant so the hierophant is interesting this is making me think that there's a reason why you can't be together because this is about structure and rules but it can also symbolize organization so that's another thing that sort of confirms to me that this is either somebody you work with or you go to school with or you're just around a lot in some sort of structured environment all right so the four of cups is an interesting one too this is sort of a card of disappointment um, or boredom 
or feeling like something's missing. So if you look here, we've got the brain here and there's half missing. So this person feels like something's missing. They feel a little bit like maybe if it is somebody in a relationship, they're not really content in that relationship and they're thinking a lot about you. Or it could be like that sense of balance could also be, it doesn't need to be the fact that they're in a relationship. It could be the fact that they're having trouble balancing their work life or school life and then their personal life. So they might be overwhelmed right now, but they definitely feel that pull, that attraction to you. But they're feeling a little bit um, frustrated about it at this point or feeling perhaps like, you know, they really want you to maybe make an offer because sometimes this is a card of feeling dissatisfied or bored or not seeing something being offered to you. So perhaps they're waiting for you to reach out to them first. Okay, yeah, so passion. This is really like magnetic. It says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So they're finding you like magnetic and seductive and they, they, ever, they like everything that you have to say. Um, with the pirate here, I think of this almost as the seven of swords. So there is almost a sense of them needing to keep you secret or wanting to keep you secret, or at least, um, they're not fully being honest with either you or somebody else in the situation. Okay. It says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So this could apply to you or it could apply, it could be a message about them, right? So they might be feeling deep down one way and, they're trying to figure out how to go about making this decision, but I am seeing the fact that they're in a bit of a, a balancing act with that two of that two of pentacles. All right. So the bicycle tells me that they feel like they're sort of going uphill, like they're it's an uphill battle almost, like they want things to be easier. What I like about this though is the fool card. So they're actually pretty optimistic about this connection. They're optimistic about you. They feel like things are gonna work out. This could also represent just the way you make them feel. So I feel like they would love to start something with you, a relationship, or even just starting to talk again. But this person is, and this could actually could also represent um, their personality. Like they could be very easygoing and a lot of fun. This charm's making me feel that way too. Like I feel like they just want to party and have fun. So that could be another quality. I am getting the fact that they're very confident. Again, we've got that Aries, so fire sign. We've got some initials here. Believe. But there is that sense of anxiety, but they are also very confident. So I don't think they're I don't think their anxiety is about them so much as the situation. So I feel like they they think that they would be an excellent match for you, but it's just a matter of a situation blocking you. But they're very attached. We've got this holding on charm. So they're very attached. They don't want to let you go. Like they're very um, connected to you. Their feelings are almost overwhelming. Okay, with this popcorn charm, I think of just like, you know, when popcorn starts popping, it's very quick. This sometimes represents abundance. But for, for this situation, they're almost overwhelmed by their feelings for you. And it almost sometimes makes them a little bit um, somber or what's the word? Like melancholy, melancholy. Like they feel a little bit bummed out sometimes because they're not with you. Again, they dream about you a lot. Five, we've rolled a five. So I'm thinking five of cups. So disappointment, lost, miss opportunities, things like that. Heart chakra here. We've got some green. So they're, you're, they're almost, I mean, I would go so far as to say they feel like they're falling in love with you. All right, so we've got the judgment card here as well. And judgment is about sometimes facing a decision. This can also be about fear of a certain outcome. But this person, I think, is trying to... I'm really feeling the big decision. There's a big decision here this person's trying to make regarding you in some sort of way. But with that sense of regret, I feel like maybe they missed a chance. Or they at one point, you guys could have been together. And then they miss their opportunity or vice versa. Now they're regretting the fact that it hasn't happened. That's coming through really strongly. Okay. Full card hierophant. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything here. The sand here being upright tells me that, like the little bucket here, they have a lot that they want to say still. There's things that they haven't said to you that they really do want to share. Um, more qualities about this person. I think they're really good with finances. 
that's something that they're like they might be really high up in their position at work or in school like they're sort of on top of things um, with that three of pentacles especially i'm just gonna hold these up so you can see them so yeah this could be a friend very confident um very easygoing trusting like trusting in the sense that you feel like you can share with them and talk to them but there is a sense of dishonesty here coming through with this pirate um again this represents the seven of swords so this can be sometimes about being dishonest or sneaky um okay create so yeah very creative I love that you have the two believe charms because to me that's just saying like they believe in you they believe in this connection they I really feel like they think about you a lot quite a bit so it is almost like a spell like you've almost got them under a spell because they can't seem to focus on other things they have other goals that they want to accomplish but they seem to be like overwhelmed by their thoughts of you to the point where it sometimes makes them a little bit anxious Okay, so you might not know who this person is, but we've got some clues. The fact that it's a friend and, and the fact that you might work with them is a little bit of a clue here. And they do see a bit of a challenge here with this connection. Again, like I say, there's something or there's a reason why you guys can't be together right now, whether that be the fact that it's a coworker and they know they can't date a coworker, or whether it be the fact that they're in a relationship, but there's a structure here. There's boundaries, there's blockage. Okay, so that might be a clue as well, but they are thinking about you. Remember, the swords are our thoughts, so they think about you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And they are hopeful, like, you know, like I say, there's that there's that anxiety. They get overwhelmed by it, but there's that sense of hope deep down or at least optimism. Like, for some reason, they feel like at some point they're going to get the chance to share with you how they feel. The other thing that's telling me this person's creative is this little guy carving a pumpkin and three of pentacles is about creative skills sometimes. So yeah, I really do think that this is a creative person. They could be into music, drawing, art, movies, things like that, just as a clue. Um, yeah, four of cups. I am seeing that they're feeling a little bit frustrated right now. They could just be sort of feeling um, sorry for themselves too. This is kind of a self-pity card sometimes. They could just be feeling sorry from the, for themselves and maybe they feel like they're not in control of the situation but i see the fact that they are like it's going to be down to their decision with the deep in the heart you already know the answer do what feels right this connection is going to really boil down to them and the decisions that they make okay because they're starting to think about the future they're starting to think about how um, the decisions they make now as far as you or whatever situation they're in is going to play out long term Passion, but there is a lot of passion. Maybe this is somebody you do feel a really strong connection with at work or in school. Or again, this could just be like a structured group that you go hang out with, whether you go bowling or you, you know, meet every Thursday for something. I'm just seeing the fact that whatever this group is, it's a structure or organization or something like that. Just with that hierophant card, especially. Okay. Making sure I'm not missing anything. It's interesting here with this balance card. Because there's like the light and the dark. So again, I think they're feeling optimistic. Like I said, like they have moments where they're like, yeah, like, oh my gosh, this person, things could work out. And then other times where they get sort of anxious or sort of down on things, that four of cups that we got. So they, they tend to sort of go back and forth with negativity and positivity. And again, like I said, I think with the balance being here in both cards, the two of pentacles as well, they are balancing something. So for a few of you, this could be the fact that one or both of you are in a relationship. For some of you, it could be working or balancing work and home life. Um, for some of you, it could be balancing friendship and role. like there's a sense of like two things happening at once here, which is making this connection blocked with that boundaries card community and web weaving again so this again just sort of tells me this is somebody in your like really close community and that sense again of being stuck like they're stuck in your web all right group one that's a little intense <laughs> um but this person really does care about you a lot there's just a bit of a blockage right now if this resonates definitely let me know down below 
If it does correlate with Brooke's reading, let us know as well in the comments. We love when these things connect. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, if you Bye. picked pile two, this is your message. Let's see who you've put a spell on. Who's under your spell? So we'll look at your everyday witch first. So we have the two of cups. We have the nine of swords. There's a little bit of anxiety in this situation. We've got another nine, the nine of wands. Okay, we have zombie control. We have skeleton strength. We have shadow, scrying mirror, book of shadows, secret. For your trick or tarot, we have, oh, we have another two of cups. That's cool. I'm gonna put these two together. We have the five of wands, the four of wands, we have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love, of life and love. And look deep within your heart. You will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Wow. Okay, so this person's um, very intense with their emotions. We're going to get, we're going to see what charms you guys got and get more information on who this person is. Who have you put your spell on? Okay, so let's take a look at your charms for Winnie. So we have an L, an R, and an I. Again, those might be initials. They might not have any significance right now, but they might later. We have the fact that it's a complicated situation. Okay, trick or treat. We've got a door here, an upside down mask. We have Sagittarius, so it might be a fire sign or you might be a fire sign. Person was sort of like I was saying with their intense emotions. This reminds me of almost like poetry. So this person's very deep, very emotional. We've got secret here. We've got the key. So this person's very secretive, very deep with their emotions, but very gentle. So very loving. I'm almost thinking like, like poetry keeps coming to my into my mind. Somebody who would write songs. Like this person's very. Um, intense <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if they're also they could be a water sign we've got fire energy here but it wouldn't surprise me if they're a fire if they're a water sign yeah the key to the heart here imagination you know what i'm feeling the need to pull just a few more charms okay just a couple more here. Okay, we did get some more signs. We got Capricorn, which wasn't what I was feeling, but it could be. And then Pisces. There's our water. So, okay, we got a few more letters. We've got a D, an E, and a Q. Okay. A web. We have can, want. This person wants you. They want you in their, in their life. Oh, look at this. I said life and then life was underneath that. So they want you in their life for sure. They want a life with you. They haven't forgotten you. So this could be someone from your past, but we'll dig into it. It might not be from like way past. It could just be someone you met last week, but we'll have to see here. So secret. Okay. Interesting. Cause we got the secret charm and the secret card. Okay. So we'll take that into account, but I actually want to look at your tarot cards first. So let's look at your everyday witch first and then we'll look at everything else so we have the two of cups nine of swords nine of wands okay so the nine of wands is about courage and strength okay so this person is for some reason reason needing to be very courageous when it comes to your connection um there is a very very strong deep reciprocal connection there okay so if you don't know this person well enough yet it's just saying that there would be potential there and this is the kind of person that wants to love you and like care about you as much as you love them so very reciprocal this two of cups is cute it reminds me of a stage here so it almost reminds me again of dramatic so that's kind of the word that's coming through very strongly for this person so that might give us a clue as to who this is they're very dramatic not in a negative way necessarily all the time but they're just very um poetic and dramatic like the things that they say are very intense they feel things very intensely so they feel love like so much they feel sadness really intensely and happiness they're like when they're happy they're 
ecstatic like that sort of the feeling I'm getting about this person so that might be a clue again with the secret card here this is um the fact that they they have a secret to tell you or their connection to you is very secretive to them which one's this oh look at this so this is like again they want to they want to just be with you they they are very protective of you as well so it could be a situation where you're in a relationship and it drives this person absolutely nuts or when they see you talking to someone else it drives them nuts not in like i don't think this is a harmful like negative um you know end of it i just mean like inside they feel like very um i don't even really want to use the word jealous but a little bit if that makes sense Okay, control. Okay, well, that would make sense. So control, zombie. Okay, so control, this is interesting. So maybe they're having a hard time being themselves because when you think of zombies, you know, it's not themselves. It lo it appears to be the, per the person, but it's not. So they're having a hard time controlling their emotions, I'm seeing, uh, around you. And yeah, this is pretty intense, guys. Look at this. We've got the Nine of Swords, too. This is all about anxiety and, and worrying. Um, so they're thinking about you quite a bit. Whatever the situation is, for some reason, they feel like they can't be with you or they have to keep it secret. It's a complicated situation, but they can't forget you. All right, so skeleton strength. Interesting because the nine of wands to me this is strength. This is standing up for something So maybe they feel like the need that they have to defend you or protect you So maybe this is somebody in your life that is very protective of you and it's it sort of stems from these deep loving emotions And again these two cards too like all these cards seem to support what I'm feeling here because, again, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you made, make expands your understanding of life and love. And then look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So, again, that deep, that intense. Uh, and then with the ocean, I see, again, feeling that water energy. We did get a Pisces here as well. So, very, <laughs> very passionate person. Okay. Now, interesting, because we have the Five of Wands and the Four of Wands. These are these are a little bit different. So the Five of Wands, this can be about conflict, um, st sticking up for something, standing up for something. Um, it doesn't always need to be conflict in, like, physical battle, like this card is showing, but it can just be about debating, you know, debating, standing up for something, working something out. This can be internal or something that's happening maybe in your group or your friend group, but there's some sort of conflict here. And um, the thing is, though, we have celebration here. So this person just finds you very exciting. They want to have good times with you. The Four of Wands can actually be described sometimes as the uh, Twin Flame card. So maybe this person feels so deeply for you, like they feel like you're their other half. Like, I'm just seeing so much intensity in these cards. Shadow, too. So Scrying Mirror. So shadow, again, I'm thinking shadow self, like I'm like that that deep, intense feeling. The other thing too is shadow is part of us that we don't, it's like the secret part of us, right? So we've got the upside down mask. I don't think it's going to be long before you figure out who this person is or before they come forward, okay? They're currently trying to get your attention. Okay, I'm just going to bring these forward for you so you can take a closer look here. But yeah, they're currently trying to get your attention, all right? Um, we have two ones here, all right? So again, that could be twin flame. We've got the, yeah, I'm getting a very strong sense. Like this person feels like you're their soulmate. Okay. Another bravery symbol. So we have, where did the, that go? Because we have, what was that? Because we had the, let's see, sorry guys. I just want to make sure I'm, seeing this right because I'm getting a strong sense of bravery here yeah so strength skeleton and then nine of wands and then we have the lion charm so this person's needing to um, really find a lot of inner strength for some reason so it could be the fact that you're separated from this person it could be the fact that they're a friend we have a friendship charm here uh, it could be the fact that they're trying to protect something like a relationship they are there's a bit of a a struggle there here okay there's a little bit of a like something they need to work against or there's something working against them. We've got the web here, so they feel very tangled. They almost feel like stuck to you in a sense. You're on their mind constantly. OK, 
okay? Especially if you're a female watching this, because we have the uh, female charm on top of the owl. So they're deep in thought about you a lot. Like you're always on their mind. They think about you all the time. The upside down sunflower, I'm pretty sure it landed upside down, just tells me that they're not necessarily feeling that optimistic right now, but I think, you know, whatever the situation is, is going to change very, very soon. I think this is in a transformation stage. We've got the chrysalis charm here. So this, this situation is going through somewhat of a transformation right now. They do have a little bit of a shred of hope that this situation will improve. But it's almost like you hold the key to their heart, this key. So you you you're the one for them. Like they they think about you constantly again with the words here. So they have a lot to say, they have a lot that they want to share. Another key. The forget me not too tells me that you probably are well aware of who this person is. Like they haven't forgotten you, you've met them before. Um, as far as a timeline, maybe by Christmas or that season, if you don't celebrate Christmas, just around, you know, that time or some sort of holiday could be a time when they start to open up. Just got the candy cane here. I use this as a symbol for um, events and holidays, things like that. And sometimes it can give a clue as to timelines when I see things like that. But secret, want, um, life, like very, what's this one? brave so they're feeling brave and look at this we have so many bravery like bravery has come up now four times brave courage strength courage and strength so this is a strong strong part of this reading for you guys okay as if the feeling like one or both of you is needing to find strength in this situation so maybe it's a situation where you secretly are in love with them too secret right you could be very much in love with them and again words words lots to say here Lots to say. Lots that needs to be said. Okay. Nine of Swords. So yeah, anxiety. Um, but there is hope in the situation. I'm seeing the fact that the situation will improve with a candlestick too. That's that little glimmer of hope. They have a really rich imagination or imagination or fantasy life about you. So just meaning they fantasize about you a lot. Like they daydream about you. And I'm, I'm not trying to make it sound like this person's like obsessed unhealthily with you. They're just, I think because of their personality type, it might appear that way. But I, I just think they're either, I'm really getting the sense that this is a water sign. Okay. And again, this could represent some things that you're going through too. It's going to be different for everyone. But, you know, the general theme will still ring true. It should ring true if this is the pile for you. So, yeah, I'm just getting the sense that it's not necessarily... Um, an unhealthy obsession however it's just very intense for this person this person really feels this connection with you and for some reason are feeling the need to keep it secret and the fact that I'm seeing that they they want to be with you so bad it just tells me that they're currently not with you the forget me not charm too so they're currently not with you but they really really want to be all right got the seven of Seven of Pentacles here as well. Yeah, so that's a feeling of frustration. The Seven of Pentacles. So that's like, and that could also be a goal setting card. So maybe they're setting goals for how to make this connection work. We have another Pentacles here too. Pentacles could tell me that you work with them as well. The door, the closed door. So this could be missed opportunities or maybe something that they hope to uh, move on to so a new opportunity the door Let's see what's underneath here oh five of swords okay yeah you know this is this is a complicated situation there's a little bit of conflict here coming through very strongly especially because we have this five of wands as well all right so there is a bit of conflict in the situation and it doesn't mean conflict again. Like I say, it doesn't need to mean like a big dramatic fight. It could be inner conflict. It could be a situation where one of you, you know, is trying to say something and the other, like there could be a lack of communication, like effective communication, something like that. Two of cups. I love that you guys have two of cups here. And this is, these are hopeful. Okay. Cause this is just saying that there are, it would be a really reciprocal relationship and they have a lot that they want to give back to you. 
All right, so this would be a very deep connection here. And then shadow. I am feeling strongly that they haven't told you this yet. There's a lot of symbolism of hiding and, and needing to share something coming through here. This person also might be quite funny, okay? So they're very deep and emotional, but they have a sense of humor. Like this is someone you can have fun with. They also might be the kind of person that tends to retreat a lot. So they hide or you don't hear from them for a few days or like they just get quiet sometimes. They might pull away. I'm getting a strong sort of hermit sense here as well. So they pull away sometimes. They're really introspective and deep thinkers. They want to build a life with you. And that's what I'm seeing here too, with a celebration card. Like, I think this person's imagined like getting married to you or having, you know, really fun times with you. This is like a harmonious relationship and fun and happiness. So this is a really positive card. And you guys do have a lot of positive cards. There's just a bit of conflict within them, right? There's a little bit of like shadow and, and trying to regain control here. Actually, what's cool, zombie. Because there was a zombie in, where is he? I think I have his little character here. The zombie in Hocus Pocus. I have all my other Hocus Pocus characters sitting here, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. But yeah, there's like really positive cards here, but there's a sense of like secret, right? You've got two secrets. You've got the secret charm and the secret card. So there's like a strong feeling here of secrecy and hiding and wanting to share and they have a lot to say. I just want to make sure I, I don't miss anything. The thing that these cards are, especially the Halloween ones, is there's a lot of symbolism in them. They're actually surprisingly, for being Halloween cards, like you could use these all year round. They're really, really insightful. Okay. I'm also seeing like maybe they're seeing the situation for what it is. Maybe like now they're facing a truth of something to do with the matter. Maybe they weren't before. Maybe they were trying to distract themselves before too and they weren't seeing something but now they're facing a situation and it's requiring a lot of bravery because remember you guys got the bravery and strength card and then you know the nine of wands that you guys had so there's a lot and then the little lion here so there's a sense of needing to be brave here be strong maybe they're trying to get up the courage to tell you these things maybe like right now as we speak as you're watching this they're thinking about you and trying to figure out what they want to say or how they're going to say it very interesting but it is a complicated situation but i'm i am seeing hope here i'm seeing the fact that it'll get resolved they'll feel the need to share it or they'll figure out how to go about sharing it another passion term here i missed this so again this person's very intense very passionate i'm not surprised to see the sagittarius and the pisces here I think this person um, might have grown up a bit recently, okay? This is a situation where they were acting immature in the past and maybe they've grown up. Maybe that's what they're facing now is the fact that they've grown up and they're realizing maybe what they want and maybe they're realizing that somebody like you is who they want. But they, they fantasize about you a lot and they have a lot to say. There's a strong connection here. And again, I'm feeling like they might think you're their soulmate, and whether or not they are, I mean, that's really going to be up to you when this person does decide to share. But they're in the stages right now of trying to get your attention. They're working on it. So, all right. Okay, group two, I hope you enjoyed that reading. That one was an intense one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know, let Brooke and I know if this did connect with each of our readings. We love to hear that. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye. If you chose Mary Sanderson, this is your message. We'll just put Mary in her little house here. If she'll stand, there she is. And we'll take a look at what you have. So we'll do your charms in just a minute. But first, let's look at your cards. I'm just gonna put the charms aside here and we'll look at your cards. So you guys, I meant to pull three cards but four popped out for your everyday witch. So we'll see what you have. Okay, so you have the death card. All right, so changes, transformation, new doors opening. Wheel of fortune, more changes. We've got the six of wands. Three of Cups. For your Halloween Oracle, we have Owl. We have Winter. It says the sacredness of pausing. We have Spell, Manifestation. Moon, Cycles. More Change. Magician. I swear, Group 3, there's always a sense of like magic with you guys. It's so interesting. We've got the Five of Swords here. 
And then the Ten of Cups. All right, Secret Admirer and Wait. Okay, so Secret Admirer is telling me right away that the person you have put your, under your spell or the person that's very captivated by you is a Secret Admirer. But let's look at your charms that we pulled. Let's see what we have for Mary. Group three. Okay. Okay, let's take a look together here. So we've got some letters. We have a W, an H. Is that it? Oh, we've got a K as well. Okay, so that might not mean anything right now. That could just mean... Uh, it could be an initial, it could be the initial of a location. It might only have significance to just a few of you, so just take what resonates. We have kiss, so this person obviously feels very affectionate for you. But the skeleton charm. Magic, so that's crazy. You guys, honestly, group three, if you, if you chose group three, you've got some sort of a, or if you tend to be drawn to group three, it seems to me like all my readings, group three has a bit of a magical element to it. We also have this little witch charm, which is funny because it's a Hocus Pocus reading. Uh, another witch. <laughs> How cute. Okay, so as far as signs go, we have an Aquarius and a Virgo and a Cancer. So that might be your sign or their sign. That's just a little bit of a clue here. We've got the truth charm. So there's a truth that needs to be told. 32, that could be a significant number to a few of you. It could be an age. Three or two might be significant. The dollar sign, the mouse. Interesting group. All right. Very committed type of person. Okay, so instantly what I noticed when we are first, first pulling the cards is the fact that we have a lot of change happening. We've got the death card and we also have the wheel of fortune. So one or both of you might be going through some pretty significant life changes, all right? You're opening up new doors. You are going through some, possibly some big life changes. The fact that we have the wheel of fortune though, this is usually sort of a, a positive change. The wheel of fortune, in my experience, it's just more of like a, it's a happy change, but very unexpected. So Whereas this one's a little bit more expected. So it could be the fact that a change that one or both of you made led to some more unexpected changes that could have been sort of describing the way you guys met even, right? Or or the way that you will meet them. Okay, so Six of Wands tells me that this person is very proud of you. They admire you. They think very highly of you. They speak very highly of you as well. So when people ask about you, they... They, they say, oh my gosh, do I ever like that person because of this, this, and this. So they do admire you. They they think very highly of you. And they appreciate you too. Like this is an appreciation card. Um, this is like a victory card. Okay, three of cups is celebration. This is friendship. This person might be in the same friend group. You might have met them at a celebration or a wedding event, concert. Something where there's sort of like a party atmosphere or fun time with friends. It could be how you've met them or how you will meet them. Okay, winter, sacredness of pausing. That's interesting because you have weight. So there's a sense of needing to wait here, very clear. So don't rush into it, allow, na allow nature to take its course. So there's, and again, transformation here with that death card, right? Look at this. I love the synchronicities in, in this group, group three, because this is like the death card and then here like this is like um i don't want to use the word decay but changes like um something transforming all right and then that sense of waiting is very strong here so there's a, there's something like they need to wait for maybe that's um a chance to be with you or say something to you i get the sense that this person is very solitary okay this person's um, a little bit of an introvert or maybe you are, this could be talking about you as well, but you're very magical and very mysterious. You've got sort of a, like that's part of what draws this person and I believe many others to you. Whether or not you know it, people are very attracted to you. You catch, they like, you catch their eye, like they see you and they, they look twice. And it isn't always just about looks, it's just about your energy, your aura. Like you've got something, something special about you, group three. Peace here. Okay, and then again, magician. So this just, 
you've got this magic about you, this mystery. Very cool. Okay, so let's look at what else you have. Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. So this tells me too that this person at least doesn't think that you know, or they're trying to keep it secret. And then wait. The fact that we have that pause card, winter card, and then wait tells me that they're waiting. Maybe they're waiting for a chance to tell you. They have an offer that they want to make you. Okay, cycles. This is another change card, isn't it? So we've got a lot of changes. I almost want to add them up because we've got that Wheel of Fortune, the Death card. And then, was that it? I just, I'm feeling a lot of change here. There's been changes that one or both of you are going through right now. But yeah, moon cycles. So this is mystery too. This can mean secrets too, the moon. The moon card can sometimes mean keeping things secret. It can mean facing your fears or facing up to the truth of something. So I am seeing that this person's in the truth. This person is dealing with the truth. Maybe they just realized how they feel. Like maybe they're like, oh damn, like this person, you know, I met them through this friend or this friend group and oh no, I have a crush on them but I have to wait for some reason, right? Because there's that pause and then the wait. I have to wait. Well, like, that's coming through really strongly. Manifestation, spell. So I'm getting the sense, a couple messages here. Number one, they're under your spell, kind of like the theme of the movie, of the video here. But then also, manifestation, maybe this is something that you or them manifested. Maybe this is a maybe this could be the person that you've always wanted to be with you've manifested them into your life and now they're coming but for some reason there's that pause there's that there's that yellow light like you need to wait or slow down like there's something um there's a need to wait for some reason in this connection owl why seeing why is action so they see you and i don't mean that in like a creepy way but they see you for who you are they i'm getting the message here that they might um Check your, your social media sometimes to, to see how you're doing or what you're doing. Okay, so that also tells me like maybe they feel like they can't just message you. Like they have to wait for a chance to be around you. Maybe they have to wait for these social gatherings to get a chance to talk to you because they don't feel brave enough yet to just message you or, or call you on the phone. Maybe that's what that blocking is. Okay, kiss. Yeah, the kiss tells me that just honestly that they just want to kiss you. <laughs> They hope to a chance, hope for a chance to kiss you. Okay. Uh, we did get cancer. I'm getting a water sign here. Um, okay. Masculine energy is coming through very strongly. This person's just trying to go with the flow right now because, again, like we said, that need to wait. They're just waiting. They're waiting for an opportunity. So they're just kind of going with the flow at this point. I'm seeing the fact that this person's been through some recent challenges. So that could be part of their change. They've been through a bit of a challenge here. The Five of Swords tells me they're scared of something. All right. They might be scared of um, getting hurt. They could be like sort of scared of something that they've already been through taking place again between the two of you. Maybe they're afraid of the changes that are taking place right now, but they're they're afraid of something. They're running from something that could be facing up to the truth maybe. But overall, I see harmony and happiness and celebration. You've got the Ten of Cups because this is this is harmonious relationships. This is security. This is potential too. Like this is positive potential. So you guys, whoever this person is that's under your spell, there actually would be a lot of potential in your relationship. It just can't happen right yet <laughs> for whatever reason. But they're very magnetized to you. They find you fascinating and interesting and like just so captivating. Oh, look, guys, you have, I love connections between cards, if you haven't noticed. So we've got owl and owl. Okay, so again, wisdom, thinking about you, you're on their, you're on their thoughts a lot. Another owl. So yeah, they, they think about you a lot, quite, quite often. They, um, this person, that could also be a clue that they're very wise, very smart. They might be a little bit older than you. Um, sometimes just wisdom sometimes comes with age. They might be a little bit older than you. Um, this shoe here tells me that they've been they've been through some things. This sort of worn out shoe, like they've they've had 
their own challenges. They might be a little bit defensive too. And with that five of swords, that would make sense. They've sort of just gone through a battle and it depends, you know, we don't know what side of the battle they were on. They could have been on the, where did that go? Where did your five of swords go? Okay, so we don't know what side of things they were on. So I'm getting the sense that they were on the losing side of things, meaning like they were the ones that got hurt. Okay, so they've, they've, they've got their defenses up. Maybe that's what they're waiting for, is just waiting for them to heal so that they can move forward and feel better. I'm seeing psychic energy here too. You guys are probably connected psychically. You guys have a magical, almost spiritual connection. It's very spiritual and sort of otherworldly, if that makes sense. It might be a connection that you really feel strongly and you can't really explain to people. You just feel it. It's just a strong connection. And again, people might not get it, but there's a, there, look at these two threads here. There's almost like a tie between you. There's something, there's like almost invisible tying you. This reminds me of a movie I saw when I was little, where it's like, I can't even describe it, but it's just, it's just sort of telling me that there's a connection of something maybe invisible that other people can't see. What was that called? Oh my gosh. I hate that I brought it up without knowing the name of it. Oh, it'll come to me. And if it doesn't, oh well. But the point still is like they're connected to you. They feel like this pull towards you. And again, with that psychic energy, psychic connection, you guys are almost connected like with your minds. A lot of water, water energy here too with that cancer. We have cancer, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were Pisces or Scorpio as well, or if you are. You know, group three tends to be a lot of Scorpios too. So yeah, they've been through quite a little path. This is my sort of journey charm, this marble with the little squiggly lines because I look at this as like paths long paths that intersect and sort of cross and end so and with this little shoe here they've been through a pretty big challenge this little cannon here like they've got their defenses up a little bit they're a little bit closed off blocked off I'm seeing the fact that this person is very kind though they're very selfless they have a lot to offer you very kind person very peaceful person too. And I think that's what the problem is. Whatever this challenge or change is that they went through, really threw them off guard. Okay, it sort of, it really shook them. It, it rattled their whole life. And that's not the kind of person that they are. They're very loving, honest, peace. We've got love, honest, and peace. And this just sort of shook them. So they're on guard right now. I think very strongly like, like this, what the message to wait is coming from them. Okay, it's not like a an outside thing that's making it so that they can't be with you or that you can't be with them or whatever the case may be. It's just the sense that one or both of you went through something pretty like life shattering that you need to heal from before you can get into it. And it just says, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Nature here. So something needs to sort of... Um, disintegrate or go away or heal before you guys can move forward but I do see the fact that it's a really good connection it's a magical connection very powerful um they're very physically attracted to you again they've been through they've been they are have been through something pretty big or you have we've got the lotus flower here a lot of like journey challenges things like that and they're trying their best to go with the flow but they are feeling quite guarded here emotionally unavailable they might feel a little bit emotionally unavailable right now maybe that's why because they want to give you so much i see the fact that this person like potentially wants to like marry you and be with you but there's just they know right now that they can't give that to you with this ten of cups this could be what they imagine like the life they have with you they imagine this amazing life but right now there's just there just needs to be a little bit of time but it's great because there's that potential there you guys have such an amazing connection and it's not telling you not to you know not to have this but it's just telling you to wait okay and remember the question was who's under your spell so this is just how this person's feeling about it you might not even be interested in this person but somebody's feeling all these things for you so that's and again secret admirer so you might not know who it is but somebody's feeling a lot of these things for you and if it's them that's gone through this challenge and it's them who's waiting then you know maybe one day when they share their feelings with you it will be somebody that you end up wanting to you know explore things with so awesome 
So group three, thank you so much for watching. Definitely let us know in the comments, me and Brooke, if the two readings connect in any way. I haven't seen her readings yet, so I'm really excited to watch, see if there's any connections, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.